When you have a valve issue or, or, or a rocker arm problem or something, and you get uh, you get the, the charge back up into the manifold, that burst panel's coming out. And obviously without the, uh, without the front end on here, you can't tell, but you know, we're gonna fit that front end tight here around this blower and cover the mag. And so this is all closed in, just allowing clearance for the belt. Well, when this, when this goes with this on here, 99% of the time blows the front end off the car. Not completely off, but it gets all that percussion from that burst panel coming out is encapsulated under the front end. So what happens is, is the, the front end gets this brunt of the explosion and it tries to push it off the car. So guaranteed all the Zeus's are fucked on the back for sure, because they're all coming out. It's trying to lift that off of the car. It's going to bust all the inner structure. I mean, we've seen everything from total delamination to pieces ripped off to cracks even out here in the fenders by the tire from this thing because you're trying to contain it now so you've got the front end zeused on back here and you're trying to contain all that force underneath there so what happens is it's like a blow on air in a ziploc bag i mean it just balloons out until it can't take it anymore and then shit starts breaking so it's been a problem and it doesn't matter it doesn't matter which way this is turned the results are the same unless you've got some big old garbage ass hole cut up here um, you're not going to get rid of that um, that pressure so if you look at any of the cars we build the hoods are fit really tight and uh, you know you got to think about the front end when it when it incurs that damage I mean you've got a carbon front end on that car those things are six thousand bucks you've got to mount it you've got a front end mounting kit you got to paint it you know how much that costs so you've got a significant investment in this front end um, fixing it repairing it patching it adds weight to it. it it never looks right it never fits back right for sure because it stretches things i mean it even stretches the the mounts and the tabs on the firewall all that stuff anytime you pop one of these panels the front end never fits right again i don't care how good you fix it so now you've just wrecked this fifteen thousand dollar front end that is going to have to be addressed okay and you, you're at the track now you're going to gob some fiberglass and crap back on there to try to make it to the next run and duct tape it all back together so i've been thinking about this for a long time and it's it's with the belt on here and the belt guard this is kind of a bastard to get out of here because it's tucked down in here in the in the uh in the front and once the belt's on and, and the guard it's it's really hard to to get to and you know you can flip it around either way you can put this thing on backwards in the in the burst panel in the back but it's still the same problem you can't get out from under the blower so what we did was start working on a burst panel deflector that fits on these roots cars and this is this is it this is the piece that we built um, and it uh, requires a little space here. so I'm just going to kind of hold this up so there's a spacer that goes on here and it's got some reliefs in the back so that you can remove the supercharger without taking this off so this spacer is going to go on here and these come complete with all the bolts and hardware and they're two pieces so there's a back piece that bolts on and then the rest of it's encapsulated on uh, from the front so the back piece would go on first uh, on top of the spacer so you'd have your burst panel which is is this this little thin membrane in here that's going to go under this and be captured under there and then this backing plate's going to go on because obviously you can't get to these bolts now so these are going to have to be attached first these bolts here that are not exposed to the front of this deflector so those all go on those get tightened down then this piece goes on top of that and then these slots here kind of line up now this is uh um this supercharger's got some gussetting up here and we and this one's not set back as far as most so this we tried to cover all the bases where anything other than this should fit on here fine and clear so once this goes on here it's going to look like that okay and then these bolts here now that we've got this back plate on first and our uh, burst panel is is tightened down to the manifold we're going to put the top piece on and then we're going to put these bolts in here and these bolts around here and capture this all. And what we've basically done is kind of make this little chimney uh, to get that pressure out of there. And what this is going to do now is 
going to come up here and we make these this one we make these long that they're made to be cut off so this one here is even too long because your hood line is going to be depending on the body style they're all different sometimes your hood lines down here and you see the superchargers or the uh the mag is cut out around there around between the supercharger and the mag it's got a big opening sometimes the hood lines up here and it's it goes over the top of the mag so these are are made to be trimmed off at your hood line and and we actually like to trim them off at a little bit of an angle so that the force goes out and stays away from uh, this carbon hat so this is going to look like this and now your belt and belt guard is just going to clear the front of it and with these slots back here the blower can now still lift off of here and if you've seen our videos on our supercharger lift tool you can just flip the straps up, take the bolts off, lift that thing right up and out of the way, and this will stay on the manifold. So if you're servicing the engine, supercharger's got to come off anyway, or you can lift the whole package off together. But um, this will easily come off without taking. We wanted to make it so you didn't have to take this off to get the supercharger off. So this will lift up and clear. And it's also plenty meaty back here on the back so that if you have a different configuration of supercharger, you can still you can relieve this some. We've got it where we think it's as good as, as it needs to be, but it may still interfere in a few places and you can go ahead and relieve the back of this because we want it to be, um, to direct the, the force out from the manifold and not be contained up here in the front. So if you have to cut a little more off here, it's not a problem. But in, in short, this is what we made and, in, and we've been testing it on a few cars and, and it's working really well. Um, it, uh, it does the job and, and there is a little bit more um, fabrication that's needed, I guess. Uh, it's, uh, you, you do have to open the hood up. So if the hood is fit tight back here to the supercharger and around the belt guard, you are gonna have to open up a place in that hood for this to get out because you want this exposed to atmosphere so that when this thing sneezes back and blows this burst panel out, we want that to come right out of this chute and uh, out into atmosphere without tearing up anything so uh, pretty minor investment when you consider the damage it's done to the front ends but this is a really nice piece it, it's it looks big it's not very heavy it's super light we went in and pocket milled everything out to get rid of some of the excess weight so the kit comes complete with the spacer the bolts the backing plate and the front plate 